Minitech add and manage users. Only the manager code can be used to add and manage users. Press any key to wake the display and use the special function shortcut 1 to access the user's management menu. Press and hold 1, then enter the manager code. You can see that it's pre-filled the manager ID 01, so I can just enter the six digits of the manager code. You're presented with a screen which shows each of the user IDs. You can use the arrow key to scroll through each page. When it's time to add a user or amend a user, you can see that there's a cursor flashing over user ID 02. I want to add in user ID 04, so I'm gonna press 04 and the cursor moves so that it's flashing under 04. So press OK to access options. You can see that the first thing asked is if you want to install the user, so you can press OK. The new user must enter their six digit code, so their ID is 04, and now they have a six digit code that they can enter. I'll use the default code. You then need to enter the code again to confirm it. and the screen shows operation done. Once a user code has been added, it should be tested. To manage user codes, the same procedure is used. So you press and hold one to access users management. The manager ID is pre-filled, so you enter the six digit manager code. And you can see there the symbols that indicate the status of the user. Where it's a tick, the user is installed and their code is active. Where it's a cross, as with ID 03, it means that the user's code is installed, but it's currently disabled. Where it's an underscore, the user is deleted and can be added. So if I want to change user 3 status so that their code is enabled, I can press OK whilst the cursor was flashing under their ID and I've given the option to enable the code. So I can press OK. If I want to delete a user code, again, press the digits for the ID so that the cursor flashes underneath the ID and then press OK to access options. The first option shown is disable, but I'll use the arrow key to scroll so that delete is shown. I can then press OK and that code has been deleted from the lock. Once any procedures are complete within users management, it's an idea to press and hold the arrow key to completely exit back to the code entry screen. One additional note regarding adding users uh, with the manager code is that users 50 to 59 can only be added when the bolt is in the open position. That's because these users are in the time delay override user range and therefore they can only be added once time delay has elapsed and the, and the lock has actually been opened. So I'll just show you what happens if we try and add a user 50 to 59. So are we going to add users? So we press and hold one. The manager ID is pre-filled, so we just enter the manager code. I want to add user 50. So the cursor is flashing under 50, and then I press OK, install, and it says bolt closed, open the lock. So we have to open the lock first and make sure it's kept in the open position before we add users in that range.